Hello everyone, my name is Kilani Izuki Oluwasho. I welcome you today to the student place. If you are joining us for the first time and if you've not subscribed to this channel, you are missing a whole lot. Kindly click on the subscribe button below this video so you become part of what is happening here at the student place and you could have access to our previous videos so you could have fun and get opportunities that will help you. In today's edition at the student place, we'll be talking at we'll be looking at how strike has affected students. We will be using Nigeria as a focal point. For the past six months, students in Nigerian universities have not been to school because of the strike by the academic staff union of university, ASU. This strike has been on for some time now and it has affected students one way or the other, some positively, some negatively. Some students are, have even lost hope in academics, some have given up hope on studying, some have gone into trading, some are even getting married. This strike, is it good for Nigerian students? Is it good for the academic body as a whole? What do the students have to say about this factor? We are going to hear from some students in Nigeria and hear what they have to say about this strike, whether it has had positive effect on them or negative effect on them. Let's listen to them and see what they have to say. Hello. So, the effect of acid strike for me personally, I'm actually meant to have been in my final year by now, but I'm currently in my third year, fourth semester, which is actually discouraging because I have my peers who are in private universities and they're in their finals. And when it comes to seeking jobs, I personally want to finish school earlier because I feel I would have a wider range of opportunities laid out for me. Because these days, you find out in companies, they have this age factor as a determinant when it comes to giving someone a job. And probably they will tell you you have to be between this age bracket for you to apply. And if I'm going to be at home, it's going to take a toll on me because the longer I'm at home, the longer time it's going to take for me to graduate, which is actually bad. It's not meant to be so. Government playing with our education, taking it as a joke is not actually nice because it's going to discourage people and I'm one of those. Also, in as much as there are negative effects when it comes to the acid strike, personally I've gotten to learn it too. One or two have learned some skills while at home. I've learned more about marketing and real estate, which is what my mom is more involved with. But the longer time I was at home, I was able to learn a lot from her. And I've also improved when it comes to cooking and baking because it's something I love doing. It's not like because it's a duty or because I'm meant to cook. I love doing all that and I've taken more time to learn that because you don't have that time when you're in school due to lectures and every other thing. And we all know that in as much as academics is important, you also have to develop yourself in every aspect of your life. You have to be developed, you have to learn one skill or the other. It may help you in the future. Hi, I'm Genius, and I'm a student of University of Lagos, it's University of First Choice. And um, I'm like my second year, I'm talking about the three productive things I did during my ASO strike. Okay, so um, first of all, I took up um, web development. Okay, I honed my web development skills. Okay, uh, uh, just recently, I did a website for the federal parastata okay that's federal training center in Kui, Lagos okay and um, of course I was paying handsome okay so in case you need a website just don't feel to contact me okay so that's what I do okay and that's what I did is I took up um, private tutorials okay where I earned roughly um, 50 to 60,000 monthly okay that's what I did uh, private tutorials okay just teaching um Student that want to sit for exams, okay. And that thing I actually, uh, I am I'm actually doing or that has given me time to do is to also study for my exam, okay. I'm actually uh, studying for an exam. I can't be pre precise the professional examination, okay. Of course, I need so much time, dedication, and focus, okay. And that's what the associate has actually given me, okay. So that's basically the three productive things I did. During my strike, thank you. Hey, hi everybody. I'm Sheriff Mohamed Oluwatobi. I'm studying University of Lagos, right? Um, I'm studying business administration. I'm in 200 level, going towards 300 level. And the ASU strike has come with its ups and its downs, right? Like something about the strike is it gives you time, and when you have that much of amount of time, right? You start to think, start thinking about things that matter to you, aside your academics, aside your career. You start to connect with God, start to connect with your family, right? 
it makes you in tandem with things that matter to you and i really really appreciate that because i've grown in so many aspects in my life just because of this amount of time but it is very sad that the asu are not even representing us it is very sad that the asu cares more about themselves and their salaries than the student and it's very even more bad that the government care more about their pockets than the future of their country and it is just annoying generally in contemporary countries public universities and colleges are the ones that are the best poor in my country nigeria our public universities are the worst right like it's annoying my friends in private schools my juniors in private schools are reaching up to me in class and they're even passing me right like they are going they are moving but and it's been the norm right like people that are studying I'm supposed to study for four years i'm taking seven years in school and i mean i feel like the negatives have been more than the positives right the idleness is very annoying the lack of growth is very disturbing I just feel like Nigeria needs to step up, us needs to step up because like when they are wasting our time like this, it can be very annoying, honestly. My name is Ijuma. I'm currently a student from the University of Nigeria and Suka and um, a 200 level student supposedly meant to be a 200 level by now. Um, where shall about the strike? The strike, the strike, the strike. Mm, the strike has really begun to me. Seriously, sometimes I just wake up, um, sleep and wake up, sleep again, sleep again, wake up, sleep again, cook, 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 clean, cook, clean, like clean, 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 clean. Cook. That's just been my daily routine. My friends have you not know, allowed me to go out for anything, so I've just been at home and wasting my life. So I've practically been a housewife. Like it's been very, very boring, not exciting, not thrilling. There are no things I've just been doing to help myself. I've just been here. Like <laughs> God, it's. I really detest the fact that this as a this as a strikers taking so long to be rectified. <laughs> Seriously, it's been bad. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Cynthia. I want to talk about the effect of ASU strike on students like myself. Personally, ASU strike has more disadvantage than the advantages. For me, I have a skill, so I'm actually working and learning at the same time and then improving myself I'm an entrepreneur so it doesn't really bother me so much on the other hand it bothers me because other schools have gone far from the origin they are in their next session why um, federal schools are still on the same spot and it's almost a year now so we're not moving forward nothing is happening and it's bad very very bad so everybody has an extra year added to their academic year so if you plan to maybe graduate so so year and come out of school and do other things you can actually do it because also has 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 stopped you as <sighs> i think this was just a boy has more disadvantages than the advantage there's some of some for some people you know this has no advantage at all at all because they're not doing anything at all I just at home waiting for school to resume. We we'll just pray that our school will come back on and then we'll go back to school and live our normal life as well. Hello everyone, my name is Yamali Luke. I am a student of Federal Science, Federal University of Technology, Accure, FUTA. And I'm going to talk about the effect of ASO on my academic career recently. So, as you all know, ASO has been on seven going to eight month strike. So. So those eight months means we have been staying at home, doing nothing, just staying at home and wasting our time. I am in, currently in 100 level, first semester. I wish the strike never occurred, but I should have been in 200 level, first semester. I should have been by December, we should have been writing our second, first semester exam for 200 level. But based on our country, dear Nigeria, we are still 100 level, first semester. We have not written tests, we have not written exams. We just started and 
well, due to the pandemic, then they are, the pandemic has an excuse to go home, and then they ask to strike, and we're at home, and the federal government and academic staff union of university are still playing with us. So, to the call of the strike, we have nothing to do but stay at home. Okay, we've heard from the students in Nigeria on how the strike has affected them. As you, we heard, some it has affected them adversely, while some it's had a good effect on them. As a student in Nigeria University, how is this strike affecting you? Right now, do you still feel that you're students or not? I would like to appeal to the federal government to please try to meet the demand of ASU, these people, so that they could allow students to go back to, to school. Because this strike is affecting them adversely. So that demand needs to be met so that they can go back to school and lecture the students. Because the more they embark on this strike, the more years these students spend in school. And it's going to affect their chances in the labor market when they finish their studies and go out there. Please, federal government, do something about this ASU strike. Thank you very much for staying tuned in watching this video. And remember to always subscribe. And if this video has helped you in any way, or if you like this video, click on the like button and also subscribe. Thank you. See you next week at the Student Place. Bye.